One of the things that's important to set up right up front so that we can manage our color properly is setting up the proper color space. It's actually pretty easy. You don't need an image open. Go up to the word edit on the pull down menu and go down to color settings right here. The box that color settings are in now looks a little bit different than the older versions of Photoshop, but it still contains primarily the same stuff. Now you'll notice up here, this is what we want to concentrate on in this lesson. These are the different areas that we can choose. Now notice we have a North American General Purpose 2, we have a European General Purpose 3, we have a Japan General Purpose 2. We also have color for newspaper, color for web, color for pre-press. What we need to do is decide what the end game is. Now understand what this does. When you put color settings together, you are setting up the color settings for an image that doesn't yet have a color profile. If an image has a color profile, Photoshop is going to try to use that particular color profile. We'll deal with that later. Here's what you might want to do, at least up front. Andy, I understand color is important, but I don't really want to get into it yet. I'm more concerned about doing some work. So if I can choose one of these that would help me out, which one would work best if I just want a general output, say, to print? That would be the general purpose one. So I am currently in North America, so I would choose this one right here. It sets up all this other stuff based on North America general purpose too. You have what it's defining for RGB, which is sRGB, what it defines if you're going to do CMYK, you have dot gains for gray and spot color. What's that? Dot gain indicates that paper will make an ink spread when the ink hits the paper. Different papers have different dot gains. What this does is compensates for it so you can see it. Now we'll leave everything at default. We are going to get more into some of this stuff as we begin working. But as you can see, we have all of it set up for North American General Purpose 2. What that means to me is I can start working in North America, going out to inkjet printers, going out to four color presses, and be relatively assured that what I see is what I'm going to get. So you want to set this up first. Once you've done that, click OK right up here. You have just set Photoshop up to be managed in a specific color space. Let's go ahead and move on.